Hey everyone. Can everyone hear me? Hello? Hey everyone. Oh, thank you. I'm glad that you like my vid. I'm doing alright. Alright, let's get the first thing done and talk about the most important thing on the stream. Is that I think doing streaming on YouTube has hurt my channel. Um... I've been doing it for a few weeks now, uh, uh, well, a couple of months now, and every time I stream, I've been, like, it's been hurting my channel quite considerably. Um, yeah. Hello. Oh, uh, thank you. I'm glad that you liked the vids. I hope everyone liked the Minecraft. Um, the Minecraft HD skins. Hello, Fizzy. Hey, everyone. Yeah. Um, so today, uh, yeah, so that's what I wanted to say. I probably won't be streaming on YouTube anymore um, because uh, streaming on YouTube hurts my channel quite considerably. Um, you've been noticed, Croatia. So, I'm doing alright. Uh, it's just I hate having to give bad news uh, to people. That's all. So today will be the last day of YouTube streaming. Anything else will just... Any streams that will go up on this channel will be from Twitch itself. And then it will be moved over to here. Which no, the reason why I've been wanted to do Twitch more, the reason why I did Twitch more is because like it was really fun, and a load of people seemed to like it, and I figured why not, you know, and so that's one of the reasons why. But yeah, the the main reason why I was streaming on YouTube in the first place was to um. Yeah, 3D, 3D modelling, but the question is, what is it? It's a modelling Unichan. Remember that uh, that side view thing that I was working on the other week uh, and last week? This is the, this is basically like a turnaround model. So basically everything's all in the right place. There's a, there's a few bits and pieces on the p image that is a slightly out of place. But that's nothing I can really do or fix, really. Um, um, yeah, let me, um, yeah, let me mod you, Fizzy. There you go. Hello. So yeah, um Yeah, so I'm no longer streaming on Twitch. I mean on YouTube anymore. 
because it just hurts my channel like last week uh, I just got the numbers in last week when I did a live stream I lost 92 subscribers and every week considering that has been uh, has been getting has been making my channel do worse so when trying to fix my channel because like the let's draws weren't making views anymore uh i i thought i know i'll do a live stream i'll be more interactive and stuff like that um but sadly it only ended up injuring my channel so and it's really sad cuz i i didn't want, i don't i don't want to give you guys bad news you know Okay. Yeah. So yeah, streaming hurts my channel. So which is really really upsetting. Okay. So I figured I'd do my last stream with you guys uh, on here. Also got a bad neck ache as well. I slept funny last night. Ended up uh, <laughs> ended up with a stiff neck. Oh, wrong one. Mirror. So now, because I did a mirror, right, on, because Blender is free, by the way, so if you were what, wondering what kind of program I'm using, I'm using Blender. Yeah, Twitch is free to get anyway, so anyone that tells you otherwise, they're lying. So 3D modeling is actually rather simple uh, if you know what you're doing and s some of you are probably thinking oh but I don't know what I'm doing you know and and I'm and I'll say to you well that's fine because not many unless you know what you're doing uh, there's there's nothing really to worry about really the program that I'm using is fairly easy to use there's a bit of a steep learning curve but once you get into it, it's pretty much like, it's pretty easy to learn. Uh, all you need really is the front and side view of what you're modeling. And you're pretty much there. See, I've already done the face because the face is like probably the hardest. And, um, and it... The face does need a little bit more work than everything else.
Oh, nice. Well, it's funny you should ask that. I've already made a video on it. So as you can see here, I'm extruding and slicing into the 3D program. to get the desired effect that I want. And as you can see, it's fairly, fairly routine. Right, there's nothing really to worry about at the moment. Plus, I get to chat with you guys more than anything, so. Go. Do that there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it an x ray so that way I can see through the planes. I've got Fallout 4. I probably will play it, but not on here. I'll probably be doing it on Twitch. <laughs> what? Hey, welcome back, Fizzy. Oh, it's not that complicated. I'll let you guys know that it actually took me three days to learn how to use Blender. Took me three days, uh, four YouTube videos. And that was pretty much it. And that's all I needed to learn how to do 3D modeling with Blender. And I figured I might as well show you guys. Because I, sometimes I show my my 3D models on Twitter. And everyone asks, oh, how do you do that? How do you do the 3D stuff? Well, it's rather easy.
Okay. And as you can see, I'm pretty much getting there. Getting the right shape of the leg, getting everything there. Hey, hey Nope101. Bye Popsicle. Hey, the bomb dropped. Hey, welcome to the channel. I hope you like it. Art thieves? What's going on? Who's art thieving? Oh, well, there you go. Like, it pretty much says everything there. Alright, see you later, Popsicle. Hello, Dreamer. <laughs> yeah, the face on the... Um, on the actual drawing it's meant to it's meant to be quite a basic and neutral looking face you know um that is for like so basically when it comes to like 3d animation or whatever it's rather um it becomes rather a, a less painless effort to animate so Okay, cool. Right, leg is looking pretty snazzy. Alright, let's do the car. Let's do the uh, the thigh. I was about to say the calf, and then I was like, no, nope, the calf is the lower part of the leg. Yeah. and the thing is I don't even need to do this set like I won't even need to do you might probably won't be able to see the cursor or anything but like if you see like the little um, crosshair thing uh, hopefully this model will make it so I don't even have to model the hips I can just carry I can just do the skirt and like I'll show you something I probably won't be able to do it on the stream because I don't know how my computer would be able to handle it but like in this program, I'll probably be able to make like a basic, like, uh, layout of like the skirt sort of thing. But it will look like a pineapple, right? So it'll have a hole in the middle and the ridged edges. And then what I'll do is I turn that skirt into like a sort of soft body type thing. And then and then the skirt will literally just fall down. So it'll be like a rag doll effect, and it'll fall down, and then it'll mold into the shape that I want. Oh, don't worry. Too much, I can't. What do you mean? Hive swap. What's this about hive swap? You should play high swap. Yeah, I would. Um, but I don't like the fandom as much. Because... The um, because the fandom of even just Homestuck is rather toxic, apparently. And uh, according to some people, when Jack Septicai tried to do a stream of it, a uh, not stream, but like um, a video on it, people lost their minds because uh, he got like a name wrong or something. 
So I'm like, yeah, nah, I'm all right. So now what I'm doing now is I'm doing the knee. But what I'm going to do, so it's like easier to animate for later. Um, I need to make sure that the knee is uh, correct in terms of like, um, so basically when it bends, it bends correctly, you know. And I'll do that right now. So, as you can see, I'm doing, I've added like a middle, like a middle uh, vertex, like these, because these lines, these are called just lines. And if I zoom in, right, you see these little black dots in the corners of things, they're called vertices, sort of thing. And all I have to do, all I need to do is just merge these vertices. So that way, the model will bend correctly. Right, so it's fa fairly simple. Only needs to add a few things here and there, but that's pretty much it for that. Now all I need to do is just move this inside. This is probably way complicated. This is probably like blowing your minds. So forgive me if I'm going way too fast for you. never done 3d modeling live you guys probably don't even find it that interesting to watch but it's fine Okay.
Oh my god, you guys keep... Uni's not much of a t talker. Sorry. It's because I'm just really concentrating on this. Oh yeah, like doing 3D modeling probably would help you with like learning how anatomy works. Uh, as weird as that sounds. Okay. Okay. Probably need to cut into the knee again, but that's fine. I'll do that in a second. Uh, need this, 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 and this. Alright, cool. Just move this to where the knee is, rotate, move again, rotate some more. Probably you won't even need this top layer, oddly enough. So what I can do is just delete the face. Oh, and the vertices. Delete the vertices. Cool. There we go. One job done. Right, cool. Let's see what this looks like when I smooth out. Not bad. Faces. Okay, and that is pretty much how you 3D model a leg. In 3DS Max. You know, what made you well I wanted to make a uh I wanted to make a virtual character, right? And I wanted to make it where basically 
um like i i, I kind of wanted to make like a virtual like character that like kind of like miku you know so like the character's adorable could be used for anything you know and uh and pretty much like it could be used in a similar fashion like that kind of um that's why i wanted to make it so all right now i need to do is do the feet and then connect the feet to the leg <laughs> So what I need to do is add another cube. And split. There you go. Now I'm only using the side view to give me like uh, a decent idea of what I need and then I'll be moving the legs into place now I I actually made a mistake on this character model sheet I uh, what I shouldn't have done is had uni chan's legs split out like that I what I should have done is had the legs stand in more straight um, because that uh, that way it's used for like a T pose So, when you want to do a 3D model, you want to make sure that legs are pointing down, not from the side. Not like in a V shape, you want them pointing down. So that way you're standing like, a, so that way your character sheet is standing like a T shape. But I have to make do with the problems I have presented myself. So I don't have that luxury. So I'm going to have to, what I'm going to have to do is once I've modelled it, I'm going to make sure that it's in the right position. And voila. <laughs> That's pretty much how you make a foot. Hey Uni, I'm glad that I'm finally getting the chance to watch one of your live uh, one of your live streams. I'm not usually free at this hour, but this day is an exception. Oh, that's cool, you uh, Fox Universe. I will make you a game. Uni, will you make will you make a game? Maybe. Ah, oh dear. Okay. I just need to make the ankle
Okay, cool. Let's get in there. Okay, there we go. Oh my god, do you want to go to Jake? Oh my god, this is my. Yeah, me, this is my 1 10,000 stream, but oh boy, oh wow, oh wow. That's cool. Day 56, still doing the letter green <laughs> with Yumi Chan. Oh my god. Uh, Senpai said that uh, Azrael doesn't exist. Do you like horror games? I love horror games. Yeah, no, it would be very easy to animate her because, like, once, once, once the Unichan's like fully modelled and everything, all I have to do is give Unichan, like, I'll probably do it in this stream, like, I probably won't be modelling the entire body of, like, Unichan on sk on stream, but I will show you, like, a really cool thing that you can do with the animation tools that Blender has. Uh, so, if you give me a moment, I just need to, oh, pardon me, just shrink the foot ever so slightly. Okay. Ah, uh, you see what I mean? This is what I was talking about. Which is why you always make sure that you do your T do T poses, not pizza poses, <laughs> for the leg. Okay. Oh, I don't want to do that front. Okay, I need to... Now what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to move all of this. Now I just gotta do an 
edge loop selection move that down move it around actually oh, oh. and then extrude And then I just gotta fix it. Okay. Then I'll just merge. The ankles. Then I take these little areas and split them and it was meant to split them but it didn't. Oh my god, so many people are talking. Hey, it's me, Boss Bonga Toast. Hey there. Hello, Bonnie and Distraction. He's just making a 3D Unichan model. Um, it might go on Gmod. It probably won't be going on Gmod, but I mean, it wouldn't. Be, it wouldn't hurt to try. Wouldn't hurt to try. Uh, for some reason, right, mesh, vertices, oh, that's why it didn't work, because the beveling, when I do it the other way, doesn't work properly, oh, there we go, that's all I needed. Merge, merge. And then I'll do the same thing over this side. Merge down. And what I'm doing here is uh, I'm making my vertices have a x-ray uh, view so that way I can s that way I can click anything within the model that I can see it in okay cool and then Alright, cool. Look at that. Boom. It's all connected. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to... I'm going to make a duplicate of this body... Um, Shift D. 
And I'll just move those back a bit and I'll apply, apply. So now these legs are like proper, fully 3D models, right? So what if I want to do is animate it? Well, Blender comes with its own uh, bones, right? And you have to, you can even make it or you can just like uh, use the one that it provides, right? Sadly, my bones are, uh, you know, they're not, they're not properly set it in. So I have to make my own. Okay. So what I need to do is I need to make sure that my 3D cursor is reset to zero, 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 right? And then I'll add a bone. It's fairly easy. Nothing like, it's not like too like, oh my God, it's so much. It's actually very, very easy. Now, I think it's probably because this thing is 3D as well. Is uh, it got an X ray as well? Okay, cool. So, what I need to do is I need to move this so it's in the center. Move it down. No, I need to move it up. Because this is the leg. Alright, I need to move it up. Grab the top point there, bring it down to the knee. Oh. Bring that down to the knee. Then I'll extrude it by adding another bone. Move it over. And then extrude it once more. And just for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to move it down ever so slightly. And I'm also going to move this over so it hits the middle of the knee more. And I'm just going to select this whole thing here. And voila! So, got the basic leg bones in there, right? So what I need to do now is I'm going to, uh, that's the, that's that. So what I need to do is hide this and bring the second cube back, get rid of the x-ray. Turn that into bones and wire. Need to get rid of the X ray. Yeah. And what I could do is just hide the plane. Right. Cool. Just need to move this back into position. Oh, 
Alright, cool. And then all you have to do is move this into here and make sure we have automatic weights. And then we just go to the pose. And there we go. Oh, that's the armature. There we go. So as you can see, the leg is fully posable. And it bends in all the correct places. And obviously, as you can see here, there's a little bit of a... Uh, a weird discrepancy with the ankle but that can be fixed with a few bits of uh, weight painting so basically this is like asking for like how much pressure you want to alleviate right but what we want is we want to give it a lot of pressure right so what I want to do is I want to add some pressure no, I don't. I want to take away some pressure. Um, hold on. Something's gone wrong here. I think what's happened is, as I probably put the the ankle bone in the wrong position. But um, either way, the principle is basically the same. You know, uh, from this angle, you can see, see. This is where, see, I should have put the bone just there. All right. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but I'll put the cursor there. See, I should have put the bone down there, but I didn't. And that's my own silly fault. But either way, uh, I think that this is pretty much well on its way. And you basically what you do is you make sure that the entire model is made. And then you just put in the thing. So as you can tell... With the leg, like it bends how it's supposed to, and everything, and uh, and so on and so forth. So it's pretty much there, really. Oh my God! So many chats. Whew. So, so yeah, so that is pretty much how you go about doing the model. Fizzy, if that person keeps giving you grief, Fizzy, just like, just get rid of them, right? So yeah, so that is pretty much how you would go about doing a 3D model. So, I don't know how long I've been streaming for. 
So let me just double check. Yeah, so I've been streaming for about 50, 50 minutes, like an hour. So yeah, it roughly took me an hour just to do this alone. Not bad. Not bad for an hour. And let's just put that there. So yeah, that's pretty much it really. Pretty much it on how to like model basic stuff. I just need to fix the feet ever so slightly. It's kind of got like a weird foot thing going on. But I can fix that later. But the knees, the knees look great. Just need to make sure that the kneecap is more pronounced. And then basically you go from there and you pretty much do the exact same thing that I have done there. And do it to the rest of the body. Really, so it's very, very simple. And then you do the same thing for the arms and you do the same thing for the hands. So yeah. So yeah, it's pretty much like 50 minutes just to do the leg and it will probably take me just the amount of the same time to do the body and the arms. Uh, it took me a really long time to do the face, but I guess I can show you what the face looks like. Um, so, as a test to see how it would look as a render, um, I just wanted to see what it would do. But like, if I just do this... You basically see, uh, let's see, left, oh. so as you can see, the nose and everything matches there, and the eyes as well. They all fit, including the mouth, and it's all in the same area. So that way you can see that it's on its way. And then this will be all textured and everything, so this will probably take me roughly a week to do. Uh, Probably not, not this stream. Oh, God. So yeah, so that's pretty much it really um, for this week. I just wanted to show you some 3D modeling and that lot and show you how to do a little bit of rigging with the leg and stuff so that way you know how to like make your own leg. And uh, that's it pretty much. Um, I know I couldn't really do much of the body. I haven't really got the time, um, which is why I would, this is why I'm streaming now. Um, but yeah, so I hope that you guys enjoy enjoyed the very last stream on YouTube. Um, because I won't be streaming on YouTube anymore. I'll probably just do more art videos and stuff like that for YouTube itself. And then just stick the streaming stuff on. Like if I'm streaming a game on Twitch or something, I'll just move it over to here. So so that way you guys get to watch it there, here as a VOD. But it'll be a week later. So thank you everyone for joining me. 
Um, I hope everyone enjoyed it and learned something uh, with free, uh, with Blender. Again, Blender is absolutely free, right? And um, and it's like and it's super free. Like you don't even need to pay for anything. You know, you can just download it and play it and use it, and it's pretty much there. So as you can see, like see where I just realised as well. So I could just show you. See where like the scarf on the schoolgirl uniform match up and then suddenly it goes all lopsided as the body goes down sort of thing it's just like it's just sometimes it's just one of those things that just happens why did that happen it's so weird um but yeah so thank you everyone for coming to the stream i really hope that you liked it and everything and uh and i'll see you guys in the next video Bye everyone. You you guys have been great. Thank you for joining me on these streams and everything. It's been well worth uh, doing it for you guys. So thank you and bye bye.